Hi there, Doug Stimu with IT Creations with another one of HP's new line of Z-Series workstations, the Z4G4 Tower. It supports a single processor and is designed for CAD, machine learning, visualization, and simulation. Two dual processor platforms, the Z8G4 and the Z6G4, round out the top tier of their Z-Series family and support the Intel Xeon scalable processors. The Z4G4 does not, but you can choose between either a Core X CPU or one of the brand new Intel Xeon W processors. Let's take a look. The HP Z4G4 is HP's best-selling performance workstation. It doesn't use the dual Intel scalable processors like the Z8 and Z6G4, but it packs plenty of punch when outfitted with Intel Xeon W processors or the tried-and-true Core X i7 and i9 CPUs. The Intel Xeon W processors are designed specifically for single-socket workstation applications. They don't even have an ultra-path interconnect like the scalable processors do because there is no other processor to communicate with. Your choice of processors, either the new Xeon W or Core X, will determine component support on certain things like memory, storage, and PCIe lanes. Oh, and one other thing, there are two separate motherboards. So no, you can't upgrade to the Xeon W processor if you start out with a Core X processor. That is unless you want to replace several other things like the motherboard and a few other things. Intel Xeon W processors support 4 to 18 cores and DDR4 registered ECC memory modules. The Core X processors, which include i7 and i9 processors, support 6 to 18 cores, but only unbuffered non-ECC memory modules. Both processor options support memory transfer speeds of 2666 MHz or 2400 MHz, depending on your choice, but the W processors will support about twice as much memory as the Core X processors at 256 GB compared to 128 GB. Looking for a new workstation? Look no further than IT Creations. If you're considering the HP Z4G4 workstation tower, then for a limited time you can save up to $250 off the purchase price of a system listed at $2,500 or more. Just click that link to see pricing, and when you're ready to make a purchase, just give us a call and mention this video. Not sure if the Z4G4 is for you? If that's the case, then there's even more reason to visit IT Creations, because we have workstations from HP, Dell, and Lenovo. Let the shopping begin. Where were we? Ah yes, storage. Storage on this system is more than adequate, with two internal storage bays and support for two more storage devices in the two media bays. If you go with 3.5-inch drives, then each drive will occupy one of the two 5.25-inch media bays. If you go with 2.5-inch drives, then the third and fourth drive will mount in a two-in-one carrier in a single media bay. SATA drives are supported natively, with six ports on the system board at 6 gigabits per second and support RAID configurations of 0, 1, and 10. SAS drives require a PCIe HD controller, which is only supported with the Intel Xeon W processors. The system supports two M.2 drives directly on the system board when configured with the Xeon W processors, but only one with any of the Core X processors. The Xeon W and Core i9 processor options will support an additional Z Turbo Quad Pro drive with up to four M.2 drives each. The Quad Pro Turbo drive is not supported with the Core i7 processors. RAID for the NVMe drives can be configured using Windows. The case design is very similar to the other two high-performance Z-series workstations, the Z8 and Z6, just a little smaller. There are front and rear handles for lugging it around the office, or if you want to take it home for the weekend. An updated thermal design has the PSU at the top of the chassis, with memory and CPUs down the middle, and PCIe slots on the lower level. It features a removable particle filter on the upper and lower portions of the front panel, which is ideal for dusty environments. HP also has an eye towards protecting your data with a bunch of integrated and optional security features. An optional lock on the side panel secures your disks. There's also a Kensington lock slot to run a cable. For more secure government use and to protect intellectual data, the system can be outfitted with an optional card reader in one of the media bays and requires a user card for access. If that's not enough, you can encrypt your drives, a feature that is off by default but can be implemented on the Xeon W platforms, which in general have more security features. HP's client security suite also helps ensure key systems are protected from intrusion and malware attacks. And then there's HP SureStart with an industry-first self-healing BIOS. SureStart monitors the system BIOS, which can be degraded from power spikes and malware, and if there is a problem, boots from a previously vetted version. Once again, your processor choice will have an effect on the number of PCIe slots available. If you go with the Xeon W processors, you'll get the full range of five PCIe slots and support for a maximum of two high-performance GPUs like the NVIDIA Quadro P6000. Both dual and single GPU setups will require the HP Z4G4 fan and card guide kit. You'll also need either the 750 watt or 1000 watt PSUs as the 450 watt option just won't cut the mustard. Although if you plan on installing two high-end cards, you will need the 1000 watt PSU. If you go with the Core X i9 processors, then you'll miss out on only one dedicated M.2 slot on the motherboard, but you can still load in two high-performance graphics cards, but no M.2 Quadro Pro card. And as I said earlier, the Core i7 processors are not compatible with the HP 
Quadro Pro Z turbo drive, but you can install a single M.2 on the system board. With the Xeon W processors, you get dual one gigabit ethernet ports on the back, but with Core X processors, you only get a single one gigabit ethernet port. Audio is provided by an integrated Realtek HD audio module. A generous allocation of ports are found both front and back. Aside from one less integrated ethernet port on the back of the Core X platform, it also has one less USB 3.1 port at five instead of six, like on the Xeon W platform. The front of the system has two media bays and a front I.O. module that comes standard with four USB 3.1 Type A ports, one of which is a charging port, headset audio, and an optional SD card reader. An optional premium I.O. module provides two USB 3.1 Type A ports and two USB 3.1 Type C ports for super fast data transfers. The 5.25 inch media bays on the front of the system can be outfitted with an optional optical device, additional storage, or as I already mentioned, a multi-card reader. The HP Z4 G4 is a hybrid platform. With Intel's W processors, the system is geared towards professional users in architecture, engineering, and healthcare, offering secure, reliable performance. With the Core X processors, the system is very attractive to customers in the PC space, developing games, rendering, and VR development. At least that's what HP would have you believe. But conspiracy theories aside, this is an excellent platform that can be outfitted for performance or light design work, depending on your needs and budget. If you have any questions on the HP Z4 G4 workstation or any other, just post them in the comments section below. And if you're looking for pricing on this system, just click that link. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Doug Stumu with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.